talk to you guys about a game. This game is going to be called Grapple. It is the demo version. There is no other version. I think it's still in development. And this game is pure fun. I, let me tell you that. This is one of the most funnest games and is a free game that I've played. It brings the new element to, well, not really new, but, you know, a unique element to puzzle platforms with the gravity involved while swinging in gravity. Now, we'll give you tutorials, tutorials with, you know, a happy face guy with the WASD controls, you know, give you tutorials, but I've already played through most of the missions, and I just want to give you an overview, and I just killed myself, oh well. <laughs> So yeah, so this game is, you are a blob, you are a inanimate object, and you are just supposed to go through these purple, how you say, black holes, purple holes, <laughs> and it will suck you in to get to a new stage, shows you more tutorials, which is cool, you grapple, <laughs> hence the name, from area to area, grappling using the left or right click, you have to hold them, remember that. And what you do if you want to commit suicide is press F and then right click or left click if you want to instantly spawn, which is pretty good. Now those white things you have seen, those that white ball of some sort, those are checkpoints. When you go onto them, they will turn, I guess, pinkish. It will be a checkpoint. So yeah. Now the grappling is very fun and is very you know fluid and is awesome they really did a lot to make this game which is awesome now as you can see there are blue blue lined how you say figurations in the in the wall or not in the wall on the ground or floor or however you like to in the square blue is good and red is bad just letting you know that whatever's blue is good whatever's red is bad now the only premise that i don't get about this game is why are you in space and you still fall down and I just die viciously no oh well so this game is very fun it's very entertaining to play and there's over I think I would say 30 40 levels I'm not sure there's around that much which is awesome for a demo and it is free now it does get really hard don't think it's hard because of this video. No, this video is just starting stage. There are three stages, I think 10 levels in each stage, so that means it is 30. And it just gets even harder and harder. You know what you see here? That's basic. Now you can swing around with it just by pretty much just... Oh, whoa, I got myself into per predicament right here. So you can swing around by just using W, w and S or ASD or whatever you'd like to use and I just killed myself. So you know it's very fluid, very very good, very cleansed on the controls. Oh made it, hell yes. So this is a indie developed title so just letting you know that in advance. So these are the red, red squares. These squares are bad. These squares are good, okay? That's how you can tell. Now if I can make it, yay I did. That was very, very easy. There are minimal buttons, your occasional WASD, your space bar, which is the jump, and your mouse, which, you know, controls everything, your left click for the grapple, and your F to commit suicide. So those are the main controls. Who knows if they're going to add more? Who knows if there is more? Those are the basic ones. I don't know if there's more any advanced controls that I have not seen, because there's, there's not a lot of, you know, options to tweak around with. Now you can grapple with the red blocks or red squares, however you like to define them. You can grapple on them, you just cannot touch them with your blob itself. Whoa, almost touched that right there. Clean slate. Now I've had, had some problems with the windowed mode. Now I am playing in the windowed mode, which makes it kind of laggier, but w there is a windowed mode and a full screen mode. When I tried to put the full screen mode, I just lag out, which is a problem. Who knows? Now the ref the graphics are amazing, except for the shadows. The shadows, I mean, they're good. It's just that they're a little bit pixelated and stuff, but the reflection is awesome. As you can see, the sun is right there and the sun is ref reflecting on metal screen or whatever pretty much upside down how you should say when you i jump here on this wall i am now upside down which is very cool it adds another way to the gravity and puzzling that this game is trying to portray now this this is what i mean by getting harder now there are these blocks these are get on the top like those curved 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 walls that are easier see now this is when the controls get a little bit iffy I should say 
is wherever your square your circle in the crosshair or whatever is pointing is where your blob will go so if you look like right down here it'll go that way still and if you want it to go there it'll just go like this so if you want to know what's in front of you you have to do that then stop and then look right there to go there so that's kind of annoying but who knows if that'll get fixed or not that's just one little bug but that one little bug doesn't make as much of a difference because this game is so beautiful so nice so easy to easy to you know become a master at this game I've only been playing around I'd say this is my eighth time I've been playing this and it is just one of the most funnest games I've ever played and it just if if this was on Xbox and if I could have gone around 60 frames on this game then I would totally pay for it around you know if it's an arcade type of game but I wouldn't pay for it 60 bucks no this that would be kind of a waste hopefully there is more levels when it comes out I know some people like see did you see that control when I was looking there and I was going here I went down instead of up that's kind of bad oh whoa okay I made it <laughs> now you will leave a trail of blue blue goo or whatever to know where you left off whoa okay now see there is another element from side to side as you can see from the happy guy jumping you just jump from side to side and that will get you to where you want to go now let's see if okay so oh so see as you can see it does get harder in the long run Now, if you want to support them, I think there is a donation page or whatever to go. Now, these are rays, or how you should say. You can't grapple onto them, but you can stay on them. Now, as I said earlier, red is bad, blue is good. So, you can stay on these rays, or how you call it. I'll just call it rays, because that's what I like to call it. Now, this is a little bit of predicament. Now, since you can't, uh, how you say, grapple to grapple to the rays you have to grapple to the blocks now you can grapple through the rays such as this and just keep on going if I can yeah I made it cool so yeah you can do that just a little you know helpful tip oh made it oh my god that took mainly concentration oh geez ah oh, that was that was scary I was about to cry no oh, okay Oh no! Okay, I am fed up with this. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys also try out Grapple. This is a fun, free indie game, and is a fun platformer. If you like Portal, if you like Quantum Conundrum, you would like this. You guys enjoy this video as much as I did, and I'll see you guys.